there. Today on Fast Fitness Tips, we've taken delivery of the B Pro pedal based power system. The B Pro is one of the uh, newer pedal based meters, and we've got the unilateral, one sided pedal meter here. So, B Pro is doing a calculation to work out overall power from the power you put down on the left pedal only. So, what we want to know is how accurate is it? Is there any drift? Are there any problems when measuring cadence, but particularly power? Is the power that you get from the B-Pro more the same or less than that of the classic power tap uh, hub-based system? Okay, here's the method here. We're going to put both power meters on the bike at the same time. I'm going to ride a brief turbo session over about five minutes across a range of watts, let's say from 100 to 600 and I'm going to record the output of both power meters individually to two different head units. I've set these up so that one receives a signal from B-Pro, the other receives the signal from power tap. They both sync to the same heart rate strap, so the time track should be very similar, but we can correct that post hoc if needed. We're going to then look at the overall readings on the screen, but more importantly, we're going to download the data to Excel. We're going to uh, match it up, iron out any errors, and then we're going to compare the power traces of each one and look for any differences. Here we go. Okay, so this is the Turbo Trainer session. I've got the two power meters recording simultaneously but sending independent data streams to the two head units. It's pretty boring watching the Turbo Trainer session so let's uh, look at the results as we go through this. One way to quickly see a summary is just to look at, the, uh, look at the head unit values at the end of the ride and you can see on the left the power taps reporting 251 average watts and on the right the beeper is reporting 232 which is a 19 watt difference. To look at this in a more sophisticated way, you need to import your FIT files into Golden Cheetah or to Power Agent and then export it back to Excel. You have to correct for the start time, so make sure the columns mirror up. I'm going to put this link to this file in the uh, comments below. Here's the tracing. You can see BPRO is consistently low except during recovery from a sprint. In the red, that's the difference file. and pretty much across the board there's a 5% difference between the B-Pro and the power tap. Actually looking at cadence I was surprised that the cadence difference is not in the same direction. The B-Pro was reporting 3% higher cadence but 5% lower power and looking at torque um, there wasn't really a way to compare the two perhaps because the B-Pro is unilateral so I couldn't really make sense of the torque values. In fact, I repeated the test on the following day under very similar conditions, um, similar power ranges, just to see if the findings would be consistent and the findings were almost exactly identical. The B-Pro again under red over, compared to the power tap by around 5% with a 3% excess in torque. Okay guys, that was our brief test then of the B-Pro uh, pedal-based power system against the classic power tap. And although the B-Pro does a pretty good job for such a good value power meter, especially one that's measuring pedal-based power on one side, um, our results are interesting. We've got about a 5% under reading of the B-Pro. It's not entirely clear if you can correct for that 5% and if that 5% will be more or less in different conditions. We'll have to do further testing on a longer outdoor ride, but the results are certainly intriguing. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.